Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a ALV output as an email attachment and as a part of that we finished with the first eight steps. Now we will come on to our last three steps. If I will simply compare it to our mail, what we have done? We have simply created the send request which is equal to compose button. We have simply simply provided the we simply provided the receiver well or I can say recipient email address. We provided the subject body of the mail. We provided the attachment. Now we need to go for this because now we need to simply go for send. We need to send this particular mail. Now in terms of SAP, we will perform these three steps. Now, firstly, I will come on to this ninth number step. Activate or deactivate immediate sending. Firstly, word itself is say immediate sending. It means you want to send the mail immediately. It means whenever this program will run, the mail will go to recipient or receiver inbox immediately. Whenever we will run this program, the mail will go to the receiver inbox immediately. Whenever we will deactivate immediate sending, in that case, what will happen? Mail will not go to recipient inbox immediately. It will go at a certain time or we can say it will go at a certain frequency which is set by the SAP basis person. Suppose in the system, what customer is saying? I want the mails every day at 8 a.m. Then in that case, what will happen? Basis person will set the frequency at 8 a.m. So whatever the mails are there, it will go to recipient inbox at 8 a.m. See, this program will run at the respective time itself, but the mail will go to recipient inbox at 8 a.m. only. So if you are activating the immediate sending, whenever the program will run, mail will go to recipient inbox immediately. If you are deactivating the immediate sending, in that case, what will happen? This program is running. Yes, that mail is in the queue of the SAP and the queue will clear at a certain time only, which is set by the SAP basis person. And customer always prefer that I want the mails at a certain time so that no mail will be skipped from the customer. This is what customer want at that point of time or in real projects. But our target is nothing. Whatever, if whenever we are running this program, we are activating or deactivating. If we are activating, it will go to customer inbox immediately. If we are deactivating, it will go to customer inbox at a certain time, which is set by the SAP basis person based upon the customer suggestion. Suppose in our current program, suppose we are activating the immediate sending. Then we will deactivate also and I will show you the result. Journal in projects, we will deactivate immediate sending. And the mails will clear at a certain time only. Now I will go for next step. Now you all know whatever the steps are there, rest of the steps sending, it's with the help of BCS class only. So we'll check in the BCS class. That is not our headache that how basis person is setting the frequency of the mills. We just need to run the program. Yes. Now we will simply check immediately. Now you can see we have a method set send immediately. It is clearly saying activating or deactivating the immediately sending process. Suppose we are activating. It's an instance method. It means we can call through object. What is the object? I will go to pattern. A BAP object patterns. LO underscore BCS. 
set send immediately. So CL underscore ECS. Here we need to pass the class. Now I will choose the method. Set send immediately. We'll just find it. Okay, this is the method we choose. I will go for okay. You can see it's an instance method because we have this single yes hyphen and greater than. I will uncomment try and catch block. Now I'm activating. So you all know whenever we want to activate, we'll pass it to capital X. Capital X means true. Then I will deactivate also and show you the process. Now we will move on to next step. Next is our send because ultimately we need to send. Now I will call the send method. If I will check into this particular class, we will go for send method. If I will just find next, find next, find next, we'll see this is the send method, send document. It's again instance method. It means we can call through object. A map object patterns, same to same object, same to same class. Now we need to call which method? We need to call send method. So I will go for send method. I will go for OK. I will uncomment try. I will uncomment catch block and I will get a result. Whenever I'm sending, I will get a result. Let's now go for simple understanding. Whenever you will send, yes, either it will deliver or it will not deliver. So into this particular parameter, I will get the result. Suppose if I will click on to the send method, I will go for yes. Now you can see what is this result? This is a flag which will indicate that document was sent successfully or not. If this particular parameter is saying that document will send successfully or not, it means it will return the result true or false. You can check the type itself. Suppose if I will go for this, you can see the type. Type is Boolean. It means either it will return true or it will return false. If it is returning the result true, it means the mail has sent successfully. You can say document has sent successfully. If it is not returning true, it means the document has not sent successfully. Now I will declare one parameter in front of this. I will declare this LV underscore result. I'm writing LV underscore result. Suppose I'm writing type boolean. Or you can write character one. It's totally your wish. There is no difference because ultimately it has the value X or space. We can say true or false. Now, if this LV underscore result, if this LV underscore result is capital X or we can say true, it means the document has been sent successfully. If the document has been sent successfully, in that case only we will go for commit. Commit means save. Now the most important part here. If we are sending the mail within SAP, there is no need for the commit one. If you are sending the mail outside SAP, suppose you are saying Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, at that time, this commit work is required. Now, and anyways, in real projects, yes, will always send the mail to external email address. Then in that case, we need to go for commit work. But yes, if you have a requirement that you want to send the mail within SAP users, or we can say internally within SAP system, there is no need for, no need to go for this particular step. This particular step is required, commit is required, yes. Whenever we are sending the mail outside SAP, external recipient. Now I will write if 
lv underscore result is not initial if the document has been sent successfully in that case only we need to go for commit well if it is returning x x means what it is not initial it has the value now we will go for commit well and this now i will simply simply write commit well. Now I will simply check the syntax and activate this particular program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we performed these three steps. Firstly, we did activate or deactivate immediate sending. Go by the name itself. Immediate sending is activated. It means whenever the document will send, it will go to receiver inbox immediately. If you are deactivating immediate sending, in that case, the only thing is document will go to receiver inbox or recipient inbox at a certain time or certain frequency, which is set by the SAP basis person. Suppose, this program we are running at this point of time. Yes, the mail is in the queue of SAP. It will not go to receiver inbox if immediately is deactivated. It will go to re this receiver or recipient inbox at a certain time which is sent by the SAP basis person. You can simply understand the queue will clear at that time only. Now, after that, we simply call the send method. Yes, if send method is returning true, in that case only we will go for commit work, else it is not required. Now, if you are sending the mail within SAP, do not go for commit work. This It's optional at that point of time. But if you are sending the mail outside SAP, then commit work is required. Anyways, in real project, we send the mail outside SAP then we need to go for commit work at that point of time. Now, in next video, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. Yes, we performed so many steps, but at the last, we need to understand each and everything in the debugging mode. Firstly, I will show you within SAP, then I will show you outside SAP, and we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.